Okay, so I'm going to be continuing with every exam question that has been asked, and we're going to go to the angles section. And this document is fully hyperlinked, so if you do want to download it, you can obviously get it from the link in the description. The previous video, I've done triangles and parallel lines, so this video, I'm just going to be focusing on polygons that we've got here, which means things like pentagons and hexagons and all sorts of stuff like that. So it says in the diagram, A, B, B, C, and C, D are three sides of a regular polygon C, uh, P. This is polygon P that we're talking about. It's just got three sides and it's a regular polygon. Show that polygon P is a hexagon. You must show your working. Okay, well, one of the things that I know here is that the angles in a square are all 90 degrees. So I'm just going to say that that one is 90 degrees. Now I'm going to look at the 12-sided polygon. So I'm going to look at my 12-sided polygon, which is actually called a dodecagon but they've called it a 12-sided polygon here. That's not a problem. So to find out an interior angle, I'm going to begin by finding an exterior angle. So an exterior angle is going to be equal to 360 divided by the number of sides, and 360 divided by 12 is 30 degrees. So an interior angle, remember that an interior and, an, and exterior add to 180. An interior angle is 180, take away 30, which is 150 degrees. So I know that this angle here is 150 degrees. So I'm now going to start thinking about the P polygon that we've got, or polygon P. We know what an interior angle is. So the interior angle is going to be, because these are angles around a point, 360, take away 90, take away 150. So I'm going to do 360, take away 90, take away 150, and we get that the interior angle is 120, which means that the exterior angle is 180 minus 120, which is 60. And so the number of sides is the total of the exterior angle, which is 360, divided by how much one exterior angle is, and 360 divided by 60 is 6. So it has 6 sides, so it is therefore a hexagon, which is what they were talking about. Okay, so that angle up there was 120. Okay, the next one we've got for a polygon here, by the way, that mark scheme, if you want to pause it, you can obviously look through the way that it was done, but hopefully my method will be a bit easier for you. So we have a pentagon here, and it says that angle BCD, BCD, which is down here, is two times angle ABC. So if I call that one X, and I call that one 2X, Obviously, this is 90 degrees that we have here. It says work out the size of angle B, C, D. So we're going to try and find out what this one is. And you must show all your working. This bit where it says you must show all your working is where you have to be a bit careful. Because we know that we've got a pentagon here. Clearly, this is a five-sided shape, so it is a pentagon. We are actually going to have to show them that we know the total of a pentagon is 540. So for a pentagon, probably the rule that you know for this is if you do n minus 2 and you times it by 180, well, for our case, it has five sides. So we're going to do 5 minus 2 times by 180. And when you do that in your calculator, when you do 5 minus 2 and you times it by 180, you get 540. So that means that they add up to 540. And because it says you must show all your working, I do kind of want to see this for you to get the full marks. Now, I know that if I add all of these together, I will get 540. So... 2x plus x plus 90 plus 115 plus 125 is equal to 540. So I'm going to simplify the 2x and the x to 3x. And now on the other side of here, I'm going to do 90, come on calculator, 90 plus 115 plus 125 plus 330, that is, is 540. So I'm going to subtract 330 from 540 so that 3x is equal to 210. I will divide it by 3 so that x is equal to 70. But let's just double check the one that they wanted. They want angle B, C, D. B, C, D. This is the one that they want here. So that must mean that 2x, which is B, C, D, is 2 times 70, which is 140 degrees. So the answer we've got for this one is 140. And this bit here is important because you'll see in the mark scheme, they do want you to actually find the interior angles of a pentagon. And there's our correct answer of 140. I'm just going to put the calculator to this side. OK, this time it says RS and ST are two sides of a regular 12-sided polygon. 
RT is the diagonal of the, of the polygon. Work out the size of angle STR. It's always the middle letter, so the angle that we're looking for is this one that we have. It's a 12-sided polygon. So because it's a 12-sided polygon, the way that I like to find out an interior angle is I like to find an exterior angle first of all. So an exterior angle is 360 divided by how many there are, which is 12. So the exterior angle is 30, which means that an interior angle, because an interior and an exterior add to 180, is 180 take away 30, which is 150 degrees. So this one up here is 150 degrees. Now, if you think carefully about what this shape is going to be, I know because it's a regular polygon that the length of this line and this line are the same as each other, which means this triangle is a particular kind. It means that it's an isosceles triangle. And in an isosceles triangle, I know that these two angles that we have here and here must be equal to each other. So what I'm going to do is I'll do 180, take away 150, and I'm going to divide it by 2 to find out the size of one of those angles. I'll get rid of the 150, and I'll half it to find those. 180 take away 150 is 30, and 30 divided by 2 is 15 degrees. Hence, angle STR is equal to 15 degrees. Let's see if we've got it right. Yep, there's the 15 degrees, and you can see about the process to find out what the interior angle is that we've got there. Okay, this time it says the diagram shows a hexagon, and the hexagon has one line of symmetry. It's weird that they've said about the one line of symmetry, but I think they're talking about this line of symmetry that we've got down here. That might be useful, I'm not sure. It says that FA equals BC. Okay, well, I can see that. EF is equal to CD, and angle ABC is 117. It says that angle BCD is two lots of angle CDE. So CDE, I'm going to call that X, and angle BCD, which is this one, the C part, because it's in the middle, is two lots of that. Work out the size of angle AFE. Okay, well, I think because of the line of symmetry, it means I can call this one 117, I can call this one 2X, and I can call this one X. And because it says that you must show all your working, I think I'm going to do the same thing I did with the pentagon in the earlier question. I'm going to work out the number of uh, the total of the interior angles. So I'll do the number of sides minus 2 times it by 180. So that's 4 times by 180. And 4 times 180 is 720. So the total of these is 720. So when I add up all these angles, it should be 720. So I have an x and an x that are at the bottom, a 2x and a 2x that are on the sides, and then I have a 117 and a 117. That's all equal to 720. So x plus x, that's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6x. So 6x plus 117 plus 117 is 234. Of course, you could check that on your calculator. So I'm going to find out what x is. Uh, I'll find out what 6x is first of all. I'll do 720 take away 234, which is 486. I'll find out what x is. I could go straight to the answer, but I'm actually going to find out what x is by dividing by 6. So x is 81. Now that means this is 81, this is 81. And because these are 2x that we've got here, it's going to be 81 times 2, which is 162. So I'll just make sure now that we've got the answer for the question. Work out the size of angle AFE. It's the middle letter that we have here. So it's this one that we're looking for. So the size of angle AFE is 162 degrees. Let's double check that we've got this one correct. Yep, there's the 162 degrees. And again, you have to do that process at the beginning to find out what the interior angles are of a hexagon. Okay, this diagram shows a regular pentagon and a parallelogram. Work out the size of the angle X. You must show all your working. So because it's a pentagon, I'm going to do that same process as before. I'll do the 5 minus 2 times 180 to find the total of the interior. And we know from before that that was 540. So I'm going to try and find out different things about the parallelogram, and then we'll come back to this in just a second. Well, in a parallelogram, I know that these angles here and here, these are co-interior angles, okay? I'm just going to draw that line a little bit neater so that it actually is labelled properly. So I know that this and this are co-interior. The reason they're co-interior is because this and this are parallel to each other. So because they're co-interior, they add to 180. So I'll do 180, take away 117, and that tells me that this is 63 degrees. So I 
it does say you must show all your working so i'll do 180 take away 117 equals 63 but you know what that's perfectly fine just to have it on the diagram now it looks like to find out what x is i need to take away 63 from an interior angle of a parallelogram so i'm going to work out what one interior angle is of a parallelogram uh, not a parallelogram a pentagon so I'm going to do 540. I'll divide it by 5 to find out how much one of them is. You can do this on your calculator, but that is 108 degrees. So x must be the interior angle, which is 108. Take away 63, which is 45 degrees that we've got here. So this is 45 degrees. Let's double check we've got this one right. Yep, there is the 45 degrees in that question. Now, the rest of these are all going to be on circle theorems. So I'm going to pause here and I'm going to do a separate video on circle theorems. If you have found this useful, literally just give the video a like. It does me a huge favour. It might mean that some other people see it more frequently. And if you want to see more of these, uh, it'd be great if you consider subscribing to my channel. And last of all, if you're thinking about doing A-level maths, I have a much more popular, at this stage anyway, a much more popular channel called Bison Maths that covers loads of A-level stuff. So make sure to go and check that out because it might be very useful for you next year.